Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, where we finally get back to the main story after taking a detour to another story. Ah, you two, let me give you your assignment. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board. Well, if you understand, get on with it. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna have to remember all the voices. Oh no! So I guess there's nothing on the outlaw notice board that we can do right now. So this is really the main beef of the game. You want to just take missions, usually as many as you can, on in like one location, and then you accept them, and then you go to wherever that is. And then you do the job and then you get paid first let's just hang around a little bit in here and who is this hopes and dreams hopes and dreams this is um, okay okay good to know we We're the exploration team that delivers happiness. We're Team Glee. See if that cute is Earl. I don't know. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Very well. Feel free to examine my merchandise. Why isn't this guy shiny Kecleon? The moment this game came out, they should have made this shiny Kecleon. Also, am I the only one who, for the longest th time, thought it was Klecon? I don't know why, but for a while I thought it was Klecon. Ah, well. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I probably had some sort of thought process. But, to Beach Cave. funny when I run it kind of since it doesn't have all the frames so sometimes it looks like I'm just kind of gliding across the ground so beautiful so elegant anyway uh so this one I kind of like this like cave in particular like the music is nice for one and like it just seems like it'd be a really neat place to just kind of hang out after you like beat up all the Pokemon there, I guess. You reached a destination floor. Yeah, you found the decoy orb. You completed a mission. Do you want to leave? No. Anyway, so last time I talked about a little bit about my feelings on having an audience, and I got some positive feedback, both from people in my real life and not. And okay, I I I'll, I won't be so hard on myself. Like I know I've got something, but I kind of wanted to ask, what? is it that like you guys like most and if and is there anything you think I can work on like the voices remembering the voices like if there's anything in particular ow I can never remember what mud sport does I think it might like make water type moves better or something Oh my god, why can't I hit this guy? Ah! You do it, Piplup. Oh. Wonder Tile. Wonder Tiles aren't 
always really that useful, but when they're useful, they sure are useful. Sleep Seed, one of the best items in the game, in my opinion, because you just fling it at like a boss or something, and it's like, <sighs> of course, would it really do anything to Jirachi? Actually, would it do anything to... Because if it did, wouldn't that like debunk his whole thing like, oh, I I'm totally sleeping. That'd be pretty funny. Beach Cave Pit. appears to be the end of the dungeon. It's impossible to go any farther. It's time to go back. Liam cleared the beach cave. Impressive. God, I'm trying to remember Piplup's voice. Thanks for getting me a decoy orb. I don't know why I needed it. Please accept this 1,000. We received 100. I want to have my gray gummy. Gray gummy was put. Team Stice earned somehow. Thank you for rescuing you, dude. Is this the same guy? <laughs> you, you lost a lot of stuff in <laughs> when you die in this dungeon, or when you faint in this dungeon. Not only do you lose some of your items, but you lose some of your party members as well. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me. Please accept these one thousand. Yay, explorer points. Woo. I don't know why, I always like the eating sprites. Kinda looks like they're dancing, some of them. We should get some sleep too, let's make tomorrow another good day, Liam. Okay, good night. I think that was the voice. Chapter 4, The Gatekeepers. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Ugh, good morning, Liam. I like that little sprite with the circle eyes. Uh, save and continue. <laughs> Remind me never to uh, sing along because I can't actually hear the music, so I will never, ever be in sync. We need your help with something today. I am stellar at this minigame. You are doing sentry duty. Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today, and that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! And that's that! Huh, I didn't follow that at all! Why are we involved in this? Shut your yap! No more belly aching! Do your duty! Ow, my head is pounding! What are we supposed to do? Climb down this hole and stay on guard! You're on sentry duty! Sentry duty? You heard right! Sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild, so we station a sentry. To evaluate visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What do you... Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? Footprint is Piplups. The footprint is Piplups. Ah! Oh no, I remember. There's this weird hole in front of the grate. I still in the grate and somebody shouted at me. It was startling. Okay, you want us to climb down the hole and then... And what? Loudred, please, please tell me. Down down there and it leads to the sentry post. I like that they made like an entire like background just for like this one off thing almost. I mean, you do it more than once. From the sentry post, Dicklin inspects the footprints, identifies them, then informs me. It's a nice use of the sprites too. I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. If what if they kicked out Bidoof? <laughs> They're like, nope, you're gone, Bidoof. 
All right, understood. Good, then let's get to work. Buckle up and do a good job. Ah, it's pitch black in here. We'll have to feel our way. Ow, that's my elbow, Piplup. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there. I see light, Liam. Oh, how's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yes, we're in position. Good. Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill, identify them by footprint, and inform me. Got that? Yes, understood. Good, let's get started. This is a cute little trivia mini game. And I identify the Pokemon. High score. I think uh, I've got this. Uh, it's gotta be Torterra. Footprint is Torterra's. The footprint is Torterra's. <laughs> yep, looks like you're right. Yes. It's gotta be a bird. And it can't be Blaze again, so who who. Looks like you're right. Tauros. I wonder, is there like a maximum number of points? Like if you did a task? If you don't know what a task is, it's basically a theoretically perfect speed run. You go into an emulator and just hit, ev basically input stuff on every frame. So you could theoretically do it on the like first few seconds possible and then again since the meter goes down it probably would be humanly possible to get a perfect score if you were good enough oh like right there and i just smashed the high score i'm really good at this mini game and i'm very proud of that Well, wow! Your results were completely perfect! Yeah, they were. Woo. You identified every visitor correctly! Yay, confetti. Excellent! We did it! We'll reward your effort. Generously, I might add. You all deserved an especially large reward. For a job perfectly done, Liam's team received 500. A joy seed. Joy seed was sent to storage. A ginseng. Ginseng? Ginseng? But that's not the end of it. A life seed. I believe the life seed or the joy. Life seed does max HP, I believe, and joy seed levels you up once. Keep up the good work! Yeah! I have no idea what they're actually eating there. It's kind of weird. Looks like a mix of like gummies and fruit. Just oh, here's your healthy snack. Gummy bears. <laughs> a banana. It's morning. Who? Who wakes Loudred up? Is it Chatot? I bet it's Chatot. And save and continue. Do, 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 do. Oh no. I started singing again. Oh no. I have no idea what I do for the like next 10 or so seconds. Probably not much of anything. Alright, so that's basically gonna wrap it up for this episode I can see the time counting down so yeah I'll see you next episode and I hope you enjoy